Hi everyone and welcome to this video. This is going to be a quick video where I want to discuss a recent Okta security advisory. So specifically I'm referring to this one, Okta AD LDAP Delegation Authentication Username Above 52 Characters Security Advisory. So if you link it, you go here. And essentially what was the vulnerability here? They had a component that generated a cache key for a specific um, portion of the authentication. In this case, it has to do with Active Directory LDAP Delauth. And specifically, what was the vulnerability is that they use the bcrypt algorithm for hashing. And they use the combination of user ID, username and password for performing the hashing. And what is the vulnerability here? Well, what's the usage of the bcrypt? Because bcrypt actually has a maximum number of bytes that you can hash. This number is 72 in general. In this specific case, however, they also use the user ID and the password. So essentially, if your username had more than 52 characters, then anyone could bypass the authentication if the cache was, if the key was stored in the cache. So like uh, the technicalities of this, I cannot really like understand because I don't know the specific context in which this happened. But the idea is that if this key was generated in this particular cache, so the cache was used essentially by the system, then anyone could just give you the first 52 characters of your username and they would log in. They would bypass effectively authentication. Now, why is this the case? So I was talking about the fact that the construction they use was bcrypt of user ID, username and password. Well, when you use the bcrypt hashing algorithm, you have to be careful on the length. So what does it mean? Here I prepare a really simple bcrypt example using the npm bcrypt package. So to generate this, you just do npm init first, to generate the project and then npm install bcrypt to install the package essentially. So how does it work? So let's try to understand this example. So here we are generating a salt once. So once this function is done, we're going to have the salt here. And essentially we use the salt two times to perform two hashes. So here we're using the same salt. In the first password, I have 73 character. In the second, I also have 73 character and they are all equal but the last one so only the last one is different here it's all a for 72, 72 times and then a b here is all a for 72 times and then a c and then i just print uh, the hash to the screen i do a simple console log here the salt rounds do not really matter now what happens if we execute this example so let's go here and we do node init notice here the hash does not change. So assuming we have the same salt, this does not change. Why is this a security issue? Because it means essentially that the fact that these two characters are different, this thing is ignored by the bcrypt function because it only processes the first 72 bytes of the password in this case. So that's essentially the idea. What happened in Okta is something exactly like this where instead of using this, they had more fancy user ID, username and password. But whatever, if the username was long, longer than 52 characters, the same thing would happen. Essentially, it means that the password component of the string would not really be used to compute the hash. And so to compute the correct hash, you just needed to provide the username, no longer the password. So for example, let's say that I go into the 72 character and here I change, here B, here C. I compute it again and notice now that the hash changes. So now the hash are different. But if I go over the 72 byte threshold, they are the same. So that's what happened. It doesn't matter what I put here. It doesn't matter here if here I put password 1 and here I put password 2 these passwords are going to be ignored by the computation. So that's just a practical example of what happened with Okta. Of course, as I said, the impact here is not too easy to like establish because you also need to take care into consideration that this happened only for the keys that were saved in this cache component. But of course, that's, uh, that's really dangerous, the usage of this bcrypt without checking for the length. If you use the bcrypt algorithm, just make sure 
that the input does not go beyond 72 characters because otherwise you will lose characters, you will miss certain characters and they will not matter in the result of the digest of the hashing computation. And essentially this is it for this video, it was a quick video that I wanted just to showcase this specific uh, issue of Bcrypt, it's an issue when it's not used properly essentially. I hope the video was useful, I hope you got something out of it, if you did subscribe to the channel, share this video with like-minded people and to the next video.